Hi, I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. Today we're here in Parker, Colorado in the Trails at Crowfoot community and we are looking at homes by Epic Homes. These homes are absolutely beautiful. You're gonna love this model. I know I do. Several floor plans for you to choose from out here. One model on site. We're in it now. It's called the Invite. Let's get started. So when you first walk in, you can see you have a pretty grand view of the railing there. You're looking right back into your great room and there's lots of windows. Look, we have windows right here looking out onto your um, front porch that just kind of wraps around right there. If you, you can look over this way, this is going to be your office area right here at the front of the house. And I know you can see down into um, um, that area over there. That's actually the garage area, which they're using as their um, office space right now. Let's keep walking and take in these beautiful views. As you can see, the stairs leading upstairs here, and you will notice all the windows just making it light and bright. We have a coat closet. We find a coat, cl coat closet right here and the powder bath for the main floor. Keeping on walking, we are into the great room and it's pretty dang great, I must say so myself. Uh, you'll notice that it juts up two stories here. They put in a nice big light fixture to, you know, perfect place to um, um, display some gorgeous lighting. Fireplace here. You'll notice it's double-sided so that when you're out on your deck there, you can enjoy the fireplace from that angle as well. Keeping on walking, look at this, this kitchen and dining room space. Fabulous. If you like to cook, you're going to have plenty of room in here, as you can see. Look at this Long Island. One, two, three, four, five, six chairs comfortably pulled up here. Um, a place for your fridge, and of course, they put in a wonderful refrigerator in here. You'll have lots of options to pick appliances and whatnot, but plenty of countertop space in here, cabinets, and again, more great um, appliances featured here that you could choose for your own home. And of course, your um, sink dishwasher right here in the island. Look at some of these extra things they put in here. A nice little wine fridge, um, an another little sink right here, just some options that you could do in your home. And then of course, look, more um, cabinets, countertop space here, which they kind of set up as a little bar area. And then of course, uh, your dining room space, plenty of room here. You could put a longer table here, or even like a, um, a square table or something like that. And then a nice big, on this model, they have a nice big extended covered deck. All right. Keep on walking past the kitchen area here. Oh, don't want to miss. We have a pantry right over here. And into like our mud room area. This is going to be your entrance in from your garage right here. You see they put in benches and hooks, a nice little place to get settled. And then they, they did put in a bedroom on the main floor. This is perfect for a guest suite. Maybe uh, your parents visit and they have a hard time with stairs. They'd have a nice big bedroom. This is a good size um, secondary bedroom. Uh, some big windows looking out towards the rear of the house. And then of course, this um, bedroom does have its own three quarter bathroom. And then at the end here, we find a walk-in closet. And that does it for the main floor of the invite. Let's head upstairs and check it out. Okay, here we are on the second floor. And you obviously saw the great view you have from up here down uh, kind of back to your foyer area and over to your great room. But when you first come up to the top of the stairs here, you have this nice long loft. You know, they set it up as a little hangout area, but think about how you could use that best for your family. And we do have a closet right here off the loft. Keeping on walking down the hallway. If I remember right, this was a furnace. Yep, furnace for upstairs. Linen closet here, double door linen closet, so lots of space in there. Um, Master's that way, we'll finish with that. Um, 
Laundry room here, you can see this is pretty spacious. You've got a lot of room to get your laundry duties done in here. A nice window to uh, brighten those laundry chores up. Walking this way, let's check out these secondary bedrooms. Coming this way, you can see we have a um, walk-in closet right here. And into this nice, you can tell how bright this bedroom is with a great big window out to the side of the house here. Cute. Three cute windows right above the bed. Really like that. And then, of course, they have their own um, bathroom here. And some windows in here. Again, letting in some natural light. All right. Coming back out into the hallway here. We're into our next secondary bedroom. This one feels really big because you kind of have this um, hall area in the front here, but it opens up into um, a nice uh, size bedroom window looking out into the front of the house there. Walk-in closet. This is a nice size walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom. And of course, this bedroom also has its own bathroom. Okay, coming back down past in the hallway here. And let's check out the master. As you come in here, check out that closet. Take a walk in there. Just check it out. I think I could fit four claws of my closets into this closet. <laughs> I need a closet like that. You do too. <laughs> In fact, I need a master bathroom like this. This is great. Okay, double sink vanity. Toilet closet right over here. And this is one heck of a shower. Holy smokes. Great big shower area. If you come in and look over this way, we have our soaking tub right over here. Great area, love it. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Now, if this isn't enough space for you, I don't know how big you need of a bedroom. This is a nice size bedroom. Plenty of room in here, as you can see. Um, they feature it with a king size bed um, some large uh, end tables here, or bedside tables, and some chairs. But yeah, this is beautiful. They even put in a fireplace. Love that. All right, and this is pretty great too. You can look out here. They put a deck right off of the master bedroom. Perfect to, to sit out there and have your cup of coffee in the morning or maybe a little bit of wine at night. That's the second floor. The basement's finished in this model, so we're going to go down and check it out. Okay, here we are in the basement. Let's check it out. Um, so when you come down, you walk right into your entertainment area in your basement, or however you may use it. I think most people would use that in an entertainment area. They put in a fabulous bar down here. That's, of course, something that you could do in your basement. Perfect spot right here for that pool table. And into your kind of your main area where you're watching the, the, the games and the movies at night. Very spacious area. This home is a walkout here, so you have your slider doors going out onto your patio down here. Utility room over here. We have a linen closet right here. And then um, you'll go back in there and check out the bathroom. It's actually um, pretty spacious. And then we have a couple bedrooms down here. This bedroom, um, you know, they set up as your exercise room. Would love to have that. And it does have a walk-in closet. And then walking directly across the hall here, we're into our next secondary bedroom. And as you can see, it's large. So nice, great big bedrooms in here. This one also does have a walk-in closet as well. Again, my name's Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. We're here in Parker, Colorado at the Trails at Crowfoot, looking at homes by Epic 
homes. If you'd be interested in seeing these homes, seeing if it's the right place for you, um, give me a call. I'd love to meet you out here. And um, also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my home tours. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.